Throw Gang. We are joined by the flared pant Pharaoh. Music fire, but he don't burn bridges. <laughs> Got more soul than a sock to the hole. <laughs> yeah, Working crazy. tables to tell Frisco, yeah, he was blussing, blussing. Yeah. Dick must be in a straight jacket because the stream's going crazy. <laughs> the thriving crooner. He must love old bitches how he's scoring these Grammys. <laughs> Give, given Billboard sloppy, he a chart topper. Footwear drippy, that's water under the bridge. Boots stepping on the ops. Squishes. Wiping tables to wiping your hose. Rags to riches. Eating up the critics. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Music got riveted like his Wrangler britches. <laughs> Solo fame like a Lone Star because he from Texas, bitches. Woo! Yeah. Grammy uh, award-winning artist, Leon Bridges. Leon, how the hell are you? Man, I'm so good. That's that's a bar right God there. God damn! Thank you. I mean, that's that's a, that's a killer introduction. I, I mean... I mean, I, know, I don't know if you're working on new music, but like, yeah. can I get like an interlude or something? Or like you need a feature? <laughs> <laughs> hey, come get on the album. Let's go. Leon, thank you so First much. First flight to Fort Worth. Thanks for having me. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us, bro. On an off day, too. We're just yeah, hanging man, out. Yeah. Sipping on the Leon Bridges special. <laughs> yeah, man. Can you break down your drink of choice for the people at home? Yeah, this this is a vibe, man. Um, this is my little go-to. You know, got. I was, my, <laughs> I was just saying, little you might need the mic so people can take notes at home, dude. Tequila already hitting. <laughs> this is my little go-to. This uh, tequila soda, little glass of grapefruit. Hmm. A classic. I, I normally do tahini on the rim, but this is this is this works. Oh yeah, and, and uh, shout out Diddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shout out to Diddy. Shout out to Diddy for providing the fucking booze. Um, Leon, the first thing you want to do. Is a fit check where you're gonna take us through your fit. We nice. want to know <laughs> everything that you're wearing. The choice for you is: do you want right. to like go shades down or you want to go boots up? Let's go shades down. Okay, into the mic though. Yeah, into the mic. <laughs> <laughs> he said he said shades down. Let's go. Say, let's go shades. <laughs> say, <laughs> let's, start, let's start with the shades. Um, um, rocking a collab I, I did with my my good friend Katie with, with uh, Veda and the Veda. And, and Veda. They're so fucking sick. Um, Thank you for our pairs, by yeah, the way. We got bro. the uh, We're looking three sixteen. Ooh, ooh, shout out friend of the show, Andrew Chen and all the boys, dude. And um, I got Lou Dan uh, flares on. Oh, damn. Yeah, he came through flared up. Yeah, I, I always go for like the, the minimalist, like 70s vibe. But it's know? like contemporary men's wear up top and then kind of like a little more esoteric fashion down below. <laughs> Man, it's, uh, you know, I, I, I try to like, you know, really keep that like classic silhouette, mm. you know, and um, I mean. You got it week, today, bro. I mean, trying, trying. You know, this week's been cool because like, you know, just kind of, kind of put on to some like new designers. Yeah. And who's caught your eye so far? Man, Palomo, Spain. That, I yeah. mean, that was a beautiful show. Um, and I mean, Philip Lim, um, legend. Kate was crazy. Tory Burch was crazy. We got to get you some of those Tory Burch flats. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck medallions. Man, on the I mean, I, I need the I need the, the the double X. You know, the double X. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because I mean, they don't make men's clothing. But. Yeah, the flares might cover the flats. Dude. <laughs> yeah. the flares over flats. Um, and then yo, you got to tell us about the fucking patchwork boots, dude. Oh those yeah, crazy. yeah, yeah. Shout out to Rocket Buster. I've been um, I've I've worn I've worn their boots like you know for a few shoots and and um. Is that custom or is that just something they have? No, yeah, that, that, that's um, not not custom, but um, I mean, like, is this crazy. like a Texas boot brand that like we need to get on? Yeah, so they're, they're based in El Paso. Rocket oh, Busters, yeah, yeah. Boston Busters. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then what, what socks do we wear out when we walk, when we're rocking the bus and bus and rockets, dude? <laughs> Busters, <laughs> man. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just wearing some like regular degular uh, little Gucci socks. Oh, oh not, not regular oh, degular, oh, dude. dude. On. Regular degular. Nothing Gucci on you. Is, socks. Nothing on you is Reggie. Um, and what about the panties yeah man it's crazy i i, I go with the tidy whities yeah man. you know really? it, just, it, it you know keeps everything you know compacted and yeah. you know, so right. compact for the flare <laughs> like, like a carry-on <laughs> <laughs> like a stowaway yeah. wait right. what, do you know the do you have a the brand of choice or is it just whatever um what is it um but uh, okay, not it's kind of embarrassing i mean it's just no. some, like hanes shit yeah you know? dude base shout out hanes i mean i mean hanes please are on too dude yeah. man after my own heart survive. yeah i got the hanes i mean because that's the thing, regular like, regular <laughs> right you know when i'm getting ready for tour it's like i don't have time to do laundry i just gotta go straight to target right, right. Yeah. Get, the- get a 24 pack that's that yeah. reggie wedgie <laughs> <laughs> Hell what yeah. about this fucking glorious oh, ring on, yeah oh my god uh, this is the scene stealer right here it's uh oh god. <laughs> <laughs> you would think this gotta be a musician and right, right, know right, that you right, need right. to put the mic in it. We the need to right stand. There. We need to stand, dude. <laughs> yeah. Used to rock and right, out. Used to a more professional setup. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I got I got the tiger eye joint with the you know, with some, di- with some diamonds. I, I like gold style. and diamonds, you know what I'm saying? You wear yeah. it well, bro. I like that too, where it's like, you know, just the one banger. Yeah. Y- yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I really try to embody like, you know, like the the old school, like pimp and pimp, pimps and <laughs> yeah. players kind of are you an old you know? soul would you say just generally speaking i think so okay i how mean like you, how else do you uh channel this old pimp mentality? 
I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't condone like. Oh, of course, because well, we're not we're not talking you know? like Don, like Bishop Don Juan, like over the top maximalism. It's more like mm-hmm. the '60s, like you know, more of the swagger than the than the furs. More swagger than sex work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the title. Well, I mean, I mean, like okay. you know, the, the the pinky ring is is the vibe, you know. And, and I love it. Is that a custom or is that? Um, and do you know the jeweler? Oh my God! Is I can't. I always have the hardest time pronouncing the name. Uh, Jackie H. Shut or Jackie something. H. Yeah, Jackie. Wherever I you mean, are. she did the cut the 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 gold toothpick for Usher. Oh Ooh, hell yeah. yeah! Damn, so a legend. Yeah, She's been doing it for a minute. Mm-hmm. Damn, from right. Usher to Leon, we're yeah. hitting. Every I mean, Usher. I mean, Usher. That's my that's my hero, right? Oh yeah, there. for real. Yeah, so. Number one. Oh, oh, for sure. Um, I mean, when I when I was like when I was a kid, I you know I used to try to like. You know, emulate his his, move, his moves and and how'd that go in front of the mirror? You he, nail it. I mean, I actually I actually got pretty decent. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Did he inspire I, I, you to study dance in college? That's that's what sparked it. You know, I, I um, you know, I would I would try to like learn like the Usher glide, the Usher, you know, the Ur- you know, it's Ur- 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 Usher, you know, thunderclap. <laughs> that's the only one I could do. <laughs> and, and, and I mean, it's crazy. I've crossed paths with him. Um, yeah, you know, a few times, and bro. Time. Don't bring your girl to his Vegas show. That's yeah, what I'm saying. for real, yeah, dude. Yeah, no, no, it's all good. I ain't, I ain't gonna bring like the the wifey type, you know, right? Yeah. Just, <laughs> to the Earth you know, show, little, little something, little side something. Piece, yeah. 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 <laughs> side pieces break only. Some off, break some off <laughs> of the, yeah. for the you god. <laughs> That's the, the plus one right there. Now, um, I, went, I went to. Have y'all seen the show in in Vegas? No, no. <laughs> not not lucky. <laughs> Do we seem like those kind of guys that would yell pop out? I mean, rush. I mean, what one of the dopest shows? out there. Um. I, I, I went um, when I was like gearing up to to tour and um, and and we we started in Vegas and um, it was a moment I thought the show was over and I was leaving and mm-hmm. Usher says on the mic like Leon Bridges I'm not just gonna let you get out of here like <laughs> oh that. damn you got called uh, out bro damn in 4K yeah you got caught bro damn <laughs> like yo I'm trying to get to the tables yeah and then he hit you with what another like hour and a half oh, yeah. hit I'm, after hit yeah he he uh he premiered like a new song and then. Can't remember what the other ones he he performed, but yeah, yeah. it was a crazy. Like a crazy bridge, line. he was letting it burn, bro. Nice. <laughs> you got your ass though. You got to give credit. Yeah, now he called me out. You know, say. <laughs> um. All right. Uh. And you're sipping on a Leon Bridges cocktail of choice and a Topo Chico. I got you a little Topo Chico, a little taste of home. Um. Since you're so far from the Lone Star State, mm-hmm. fit check, drink check complete. Mm-hmm. Let's get to the beat and potatoes. This podcast. Yeah, hey, man. What do you say? Um. So you are here. At your first ever New York Fashion Week, mm-hmm. right? Congrats, bro! You're blowing up. That's good, fantastic. <laughs> man, man, it's, it's 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 so humbling. You know, have you sprinted the whole marathon as people are wont to do? Yeah, man, I, I feel like we hit all the significant shows, you know, and um, and parties. I would imagine yeah, and, and parties podcasts. and, <laughs> and podcasts, <laughs> yeah, facts. <laughs> and uh, I mean, a, a blessing to be able to sit front row, you know. Yeah. Oh, no, you've been, you've all. been, you've been, like, you've been what in is life uh, right now? Star Central. Would sure. anyone sit you second row? It's like, what? <laughs> that's, that would be crazy. <laughs> that's for us. I, I yeah, mean, that's I, our, I, I'll hey, by you, the I, way, get out of our lane, bro. I, I'll, We're take, I'll take whatever shorties. I can get. You know what I'm saying? Uh, excuse me, you're in my second row seat. <laughs> Leon, uh, you're uh, in first class, bro. Yeah. This is steerage. <laughs> well, the week kicked off, um, and you guys all ran into each other at the J. Crew 40th anniversary where the Strokes were playing. Mm hmm. And you've done your fair share of playing corporate gigs, I'm sure. So, like, what mm-hmm. do you think when you watch the Strokes straight up diss their $1.4 million benefactors? Allegedly. Crew? Well, they were like, great crowd. But no, right. I'm saying the, the dollar right. figures. Right. Right. <laughs> I, 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 know, I noticed that, that moment and, and I was like, you know, kind of like almost you know, kind of secondhand, you know, in, in, in embarrassment. Like, <laughs> <laughs> But is that kind of rock and roll? Yeah. I mean, uh, it, 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 I mean, shit's a whirlwind, you know, and so I kind of get like, you know, I mean, do do they tour frequently? Or? I think they've been on tour doing their uh, debut record, like on the festival circuit. And right. then this was like a weird capper for that right. for them. And they clearly were not having a good time. Right. I don't think, I don't think uh, they're feeling the crowd. I don't yeah. Think that, I, I mean, corp- corporate gigs are, are, are tough, man. But um, at, the, at the end of the day, I mean, it's, you know, it's still, it's still a bag and yeah. and, and, Facts. and uh yeah. When you you got to respect the bag, right? If you're getting right. the bag, you got to respect. When you're playing a corporate gig, is it always just like some tech company that's just like, and now the fucking, I don't know, the, the cool yeah. guy, Leon Bridges. And they have you do coming home and you, and you fucking <laughs> cash a six figure check and then bounce. <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I, I kind of get to cur- curate like my own own set, but like, oh, they, nice. I mean, it's, I mean, beyond right. is like the, the, you know, the tune that, they, that yeah. everybody wants. Elon yeah, Musk exactly. loves River or and he hits, would love for you, know? you to play it for. All the Tesla factory work. Yeah, 19 <laughs> times in a row. 
I, I'm with it. I, well, this might be your first New York Fashion Week, but you were no stranger to the fashion game. And I believe that uh, you actually have something in common with uh, my co-host Lawrence here when it comes to Kanye West. We heard a rumor that at your first ever Met Gall in 2015, <laughs> you smacked into him. Yeah. What happened there, dude? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get bodied? I got uh, bodied he hard. Got, he, got like bo- he got like shivved by a bodyguard and like beers went flying everywhere. I was Heisman in front of the entire menswear fashion industry and my beers went flying everywhere. Yeah. Like yeah. Sonic re- with the rings. When hasn't, he gets recovered, hit. hasn't recovered. No, since. my rep yeah, has so, been fucking in the basement. Yeah, I got, I got in, in, invited to the Met Gala in 2015. Mm-hmm. I didn't didn't even have a, have an album out, which is pretty wild. They, they fucked with the vision, dude. They, right. saw, they saw the drip. They saw yeah. the drip. And, um, <laughs> Got dropped off, and I, I'm like, damn, I can't get a plus one. In this <laughs> <laughs> they had you solo though on the red carpet, <laughs> damn, bro. Um, all good though, but um, I mean, I mean, I think Rihanna performed Woo, that, okay. that year, and um, but as we were leaving, I like accidentally like bumped into Kanye, <laughs> but I mean, he he didn't even have a reaction to it, which is really. But I was like, oh, really? He was chill about it. That doesn't seem a, very yay. This is 2015. Yeah, he's a small guy, and you're a tall fellow. You didn't like bowl him over. Yeah, like, but he's like a little brolic. No, it's kind of like, like a pit he's bull, thick. I yeah, <laughs> but I mean, he knew. He was like, you know, that's that's LB over there. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you apologize, <laughs> or do you keep it pushing? I know. Like, I just kept it moving. So I <laughs> well, you had another Met Gala. Um, <clears throat> incident in your life so how butt hurt were you when your met gala performance scene got cut from oceans eight yeah dude <laughs> you still stewing man that, that that was that i mean that whole like time was crazy um and what I, what, I, what met gala was that what year was that that was 2015 <sighs> no no because no, they actually filmed oh yeah so we filmed we filmed gala. it at the at the yeah. met yeah and um there was like a performance that uh, like with my band which is pretty funny um <laughs> that they, they were going to like in, include in the movie but they, i mean did you actually perform or were you like lip syncing? Like the strokes? Were no, no, I was performing. <laughs> no, was they really? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, I, was, shit. I was singing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> singing that shit. Was it like on the cart? Where was it? Like inside or on the carpet? Yeah, it's, it's like normally where the, um, like where the artists perform. Okay. In, in the, um, so were you bummed when you got the news that you weren't going to be in the movie? Axed. Nah, not really. I mean, because I, I still I still got the moment like of us like yeah, walking right. up the steps oh, and like right. the Kardashians are like behind me like type shit. <laughs> oh, they're behind you, damn. That's fortunate. Normally you want to be behind them. Yeah. yeah. Get the view. And then there you did have a cameo in the movie where you dap up Anna Wintour, right? How's her fucking dap game? Yeah. Is she nice with it or did she like did she like go for this when you went for the you know? And if you did hit her, would she just fucking evaporate into dust? I know. Not, I mean, not, by Anna dap. Wintour, she she hit me with you know with the with the player just like mm mm mm. <laughs> A, what? Oh. Did she go? Did she go finger out? <laughs> no, 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 no. Nice with it, dude. <laughs> she fucking Damn. start throwing up gang signs like Fort Worth, <laughs> Fort Worth no, Killers. No, no, Anna Wintour has shown some love. Like, um, she loves you. When I when I when I went to uh, what was it? The Met was it twenty? You've been to so many. It was, it was like, a, it, was like it was like an American. What, what was the theme? Oh, yeah. American fucking. That was like the right before the pandemic, or was I it? I don't remember. There was the 20, camp 20, one. 20, yeah. Again, he's been to so many. Who can yeah. even keep track at this point? Right. But well, Anna Winter, she's always so love. So, but if you dap her too cool. hard, you would take her arm off. Right. You got to <laughs> give her like the gentle dap. Fragile. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, we're, it's a sign of respect to give a very ginger dap to the right. queen. Yeah, please invite us to the Met Gala. We'd love to go with Leon. Dude, Dude you gotta do. Get, yo, please. I mean, shit. Because uh, if I right? see y'all, then yeah, at least I got some homies. In yeah, for real, dude. Is yeah. it like? Are, is everyone just like, hello, nice? To, like, is it very corpo, or is it like once you get passed off the red carpet, people loosen up, the drinks are flowing, people are smoking in the bathroom? Is it cool, or do you kind of fucking hate it? <laughs> you know, I, I'm super introverted, so like, it, I, I, I kind of normally just kind of stand off in the corner with my little cocktail, mm. you know, but looking um, cool. The recent time I went, I, I, I kind of I, I chopped it up with uh, what's his name? Ch- Channing Tatum. Yeah. Oh, Magic nice. Mike, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that cool? <laughs> You're both dancers. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure, yeah. For sure that we, we connected on on the little dance vibe. You was know, he wearing so. a fitted or like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 his shirt, had, a, had his shirt off. You know. <laughs> oh, um, he strikes me as a as a fitted white boy. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, he's, he's a spicy he was, white. He was suited and booted. So <laughs> he's taped Chipotle, up. He's Chipotle male. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have been to so many Met Galas and you are always kind of like in the conversation, but Lawrence and I were talking about this and it's like, yo, especially after like re-familiarizing yourself with your game, and maybe it is because you're not like an extrovert and shouting from the rooftops. Are you underrated as one of the best dressed musicians out there? Talk your shit, brother. I, th- I think so. Um, 
man, I mean, I, I've always just, you know, just try to stand out, you know, with with my fashion. And um, I think a lot of heads got inspired from when I started popping off the flares. Like, yeah. Mm, I mean, I, I'm, I'm seeing a lot put of- Put them in a Bodie bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean- uh, You're known for being early I mean, Childish shit. Gambino, he, he he wore Bodie first. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. And shout then, out to and, then, and then I rocked it uh, for the Grammys. We're going to talk about that. Oh, shout yeah, out yeah. Mac. Yeah. Shout out our boy Mac. Man, dude. Mac. That's, that's, <laughs> but that's I think that like what, Mac. like Mac. while it might, while it might be intentional, that intentionality is hard to maybe, or easy to lose when everyone is just being louder. Right. Unless you have like an actual eye of people that are like looking like, oh damn, he is like doing that specific silhouette, that color pattern, that color combo, et cetera, et cetera. Or like channeling a specific aesthetic or era, which I think it is like when people start to look a little closer, they should mm -hmm. recognize. Yeah, uh, I think it's, I think recognize. it's kind, I think it's kind of cool because like my style connects, you know, with like the fashion heads and like and the gangsters, you know, which yeah. is which is kind of cool, you know. Um, like YG dapped you up on the front row, like he's like, yo, <laughs> game I, I, I've crossed paths with YG a few times, but uh, <laughs> did he, got, how hard did he pronounce the B in bridges? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Saw him, saw him front row at bait. <laughs> nah, he, 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 he was, he was chill. Yeah. He, was, he was chill. But that's, uh, a, that's real recognize real, right? Like you connect, like you're saying, like a lot of different style tribes can all see something in your swag that is like, maybe I want to try that or damn, that's inspiring. Do you feel like you need more public credit though? Like I know you're an introvert, but let's be real. I think so, I think so, <laughs> Thank man. Because I, I, like I, I'm doing this shit, you know. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Motherfucking, put it on. Yeah. I mean, the, the fashion week hang has kind of been a moment to you know I mean, acknowledge put your that. Stamp on sure. it. Yeah. You know. Put your stamp on the week. Yeah, but yeah, does it like bother you or, or irk you that people are always like, oh, like Rocky Tyler, and yeah, deservedly so. But like, even if you are connecting and you you know yourself, it's not necessarily like splashing across like the best dressed list or anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's it's kind of a long game with that, you know. True. It's like mm. it's it's just a lifestyle, you know. And um, I, I, I get fly when I'm going to the grocery store, Woo! which you Fire. know. And um, I, I think uh, ultimately, here's going, you know, they they're gonna see see how I'm coming, you know. Long Absolutely. Game. Well, we were chilling. Speaking of long game, being early, we were chilling with your boy Mac recently. Mad Mac, um, Mad Mac, Mad. and he told us uh, the story of kind of how you ended up wearing the Bodie senior cord suit to the Grammys in 2019. He was saying, and, and again, this is you know, you one side of the story. You want to hear both, got to hear both sides. Yeah, got to yeah. hear both sides. That he flew out there. First of all, he flew out there with only one look, which yeah. is- He said it. was like the worst job a stylist could ever yeah. do. I guess you could bring zero looks, but- Yeah, you should have fired it ass right then and there. But he, he said that you were kind of like, you know, you were uh, a, a bit on the fence about yeah, doing myself. that. And then he was like, yo, you got to let me know right now. Cause it's either this or we're going to fucking Bergdorf and like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to target to fucking cop up some in-house tailoring. No, that's how the, stressed were you to actually wear the Bodie senior courts to the Grammys red carpet? That, that's the wild, that's the wild thing. Cause like I've, I, I normally just go traditional like mm -hmm. suit vibes. And, um, I, I, I saw the Bodie fit and I was a little reluctant at first. Cause like it was, you know, just something different. And, right. um, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm glad I rocked it. Viral Zuvi, dude. Yeah, that was I mean, maybe the most talked about men's look of that night, especially because Bodie at that time was like, you know, had been established a little bit in like the world that we come from, a.k.a. the world of nerds. But like this is talk about Summer Jam screen, dude, at the fucking Grammys on the red carpet. Like, again, and not early just red carpet. But I mean, I'm and then, yo, won, I mean, and, and that was the moment that like, I, I, you got a trophy I, I that won, night, too, right? right? Yeah. yeah. And it was kind of cool, like how they, you know, it was a cus you know, custom suit. So they mm -hmm. kind of put like some quotes from. Yeah. Like my songs and they got the Lone and, Star State on there. Yeah. yeah. A bunch of good Mrs. fucking Hello, insignia. Hello, Mrs. I, I mean, I can't. I mean, I, I don't even know what to do with it. I can't even fit that shit now. <laughs> Yo, it needs to go in the Met Gala permanent collection <laughs> yeah. because that night you came home with the fucking trophy, bro. Man. I, I mean, somebody take it because I, 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 I can't I can't rock it anymore. You what? Know? Yo, they got to They got to update it and put the <laughs> put the Grammy statue. Yeah, on. dude. <laughs> <laughs> fucking champion sound did did in terms of like the fashion industry recognizing you as a fucking as mr motherfucking put it on <clears throat> was there like a pre grammys 2019 post grammys 2019 you had already been to a bunch of met gals and everything but the Bodhi suit felt like flag in the sand moment where mm -hmm. it's like yo i'm here like what did things change after that for you an arrival of sorts <laughs> man it was it was funny like it got so much praise and then like a, a few heads back back home in Texas. I was just like, "What the fuck, that boy?" Was whack. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, y'all don't even know what y'all talking about, yeah, right? No, like, of course, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't fly in Fort Worth. Like, if the hometown's not hating, have you even made it? Yeah, I mean, come right. On. I mean, it's, it's, it's yeah. inevitable. Like, I mean, heads gonna hate. Right? Yeah, come on. I do you get? That, do you read? 
do you get hate now from like, yo, what is this like cowboy doing? And do you pay attention to them at all or no? Can't. No, no, I mean, I, I don't really see it. You yeah. know, you got the hater blockers on. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Extra large. <laughs> <Big betas. laughs> the bait of hate block. It's like it's hard to avoid that shit when like you are a celeb and like a moment goes viral and it's like, yo, people are going to fucking see this and you might see what they say. Right. It's inevitable. Yeah. I mean, uh, you, you know, you, you know, just try to have, the, you know, thick skin and fucking. Yeah. Right. You know, but um, let it roll off the denim shoulders, <laughs> off that back, off that Western yoke. Yeah, be, yeah, beat off the yoke, dude. <laughs> nah, it, it, it's, it's all good. You gotta, you gotta focus on the people that you know that, that's showing love, to right? It, you know your art. So, how's the reception you know? been to the fits you've been wearing all week? Because they've been mucho spicy, delicious. Man, been 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 getting some love. You know, um, I've been seeing uh, pics of you everywhere across my IG feed. By the way, yeah, well, like not just I mean, the, I, the, you. I mean the Tory the Tory Burt show was so classy, man. Yeah. Um, I got to, I got to rock and a uh, knit it, mm. but, but like, I mean, the whole thing has just been about like keeping my style and, and while still giving a nod to for like, sure. right. all the great designers. You Absolutely. Know? It's so, a uh, synergy between the Leon Bridges look, which is like all you. And then like, how can I work in a piece here or there right. and rep and, peacefully? And, and, and it, I've been getting a lot of love from like, like, you know, the friends back home. You know? Hell yeah. yeah so it's been We've converted, converted them. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you putting that shit on. You know? yeah. From hometown haters to hometown. Yeah, hero. man. You've yeah, been putting man. that on, man. That's it. Is that the Texas twang right there? Yeah. <laughs> man, you know. Yeah. The jewelry, the jewelry, can I just say, has also been going, as, yeah. a, as, a, as a new jewelsman, the jewelry's been going fucking crazy. Man. What you had on the wristicles the other night? Woo! No, shout out, shout out to my stylist, Gabrielle. She's, um, she's crushing really, She's really put me on to some... I mean, I mean, that's the reason why I'm here, you know, is, uh, you know, she's like pulled some pieces that I've mm, for worn sure. for Coachella or like mm. on tour. And and um, is that a two way street? Like the working relationship between an artist and a stylist is something that I think like definitely fascinates us. And I think the listeners of the show, because it's like we can at least tell because, again, we're fucking nerds when it's like a two way street where you're like working with the styles versus another celeb who's like, I'm a living, breathing <clears throat> mannequin and they just throw whatever and we'll see what <laughs> sticks. Right. Like, yeah, you can't let the clothes wear you. Yeah, you know what I'm true. And um, it's super collaborative, you know. Like, like I, I, I know how to put it on, <laughs> you know. But um, you trust her. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it's it's. Um, do you have to push back on her at all ever? Where she like wants you to do something where you're like, yo, that's not me. Child of no, nah, she gets <laughs> she gets it right. Like, yeah, oh yeah, she like she knows every you. time. Read you like a book. Damn, she's never missed, and you've never missed either. So I guess it is a good working relationship. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, she, it, it, you know, I've, I've always been doing my thing, but, um, you know, she, she's like kind of elevated my style. Yeah. And you're you know. a busy guy too. It's like, I mean, I'm sure like you can go and shopping for flares and boots, but it's like with all these events, especially like right, the fucking right. gauntlet that you've run this week, it's like, yo, I need that fucking shooter yeah. that's it, ready to tap in right. with the and garment I, bags yeah, and I, full and of I, gear. And, and I, I don't, I don't even know how to like find <laughs> like the designers that, um, in, in, kind of embody like this, the style that I, you know, right. that I well, fuck with. What brands are most represented in your closet these days that you do like wear on the day to day, not just to like the big events and the big things, mm-hmm. but when you hit the grocery store. <clears throat> yeah. For sure. Um man, Lou Lou Dan's been you yeah. know, kind of my with, my, the, my with the big pants. Man, he's yeah, he's he's got like the fucking kind of mafioso <laughs> Japanese, yeah. like Hell yeah. kind of seventies vibe, you know, and um Sleazy. I, I love Noon Goons. Ooh, um, shout out Noon Goons. Shout out Kurt. Yeah, yeah, I think I ran into him at, yeah. at uh, what is it, uh, the Bowery? Okay, big, big, big blonde bloke, big blonde goon. Yeah, yeah. that was probably him. I mean, that that man like were you faded? You no, know, he's he's super tall. Yeah, he's pretty okay, tall. Okay, that might be a different guy. But, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he's not super. T- he's like a surfer. He's a surfer, so he's yeah. like mm-hmm. he's like broad shouldered from fucking paddling yeah. into the Stoke. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I mean, I, I I ran into one of the heads from Noon Goons. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> if you see Leon in the lobby, he might be a little fight. Right, so we got Ludan. <laughs> I was like there. I was like playing guitar and like vibing. Oh, really? And, uh, Were you just crooning? Or was I mean, it- that's just my thing. Um, I, I went to the Bowery right. with my, uh, this uh, little classic guitar I, I bought out here. Okay. And um, I was just like strumming on some. Are you shopping some for guitars in every city that you touch down in? Is that like. Uh, no, nah, what- nah, because it's, it's just hard to travel with. Oh, you know, true. Right. You know. Yeah. What do you, when you're strumming in the lobby, like. Are you just giving it like you should charge people now? Yeah, was that free? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What's wrong with you, dude? Man, man, I I just like the vibe of like, you know, just kind of 
just giving a free going, going to going to somewhere dope, you know, and, yeah. and, 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 um, making it doper. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 you know, I'm, I'm mostly just like, we're well, the chill just, guy in the corner. It's, it's kind of, like, kind of practicing. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> you, yeah. He's, he's putting the work. He's putting in his 10,000 hours. Well, people. Let me ask you this. Grammy not doing that. Let me ask you this as a, as a Texan, as a bona fide cowboy, as a man with a goddamn Wrangler operation, <clears throat> when you're here in New York, what do you think of the Bushwick art hose wearing cowboy boots? <laughs> you feel swagger jacked or you're like, all right, shouty, you can get it. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I saw a thing where like Drake's kind of doing these like themed like Western oh, I saw parties. Because yeah. uh, he loves Yellowstone. That's what I oh, think word. it is. I, I, lo- I, love, I, I, I love it. I mean, I, I'm not trying to gatekeep none of this stuff. No. You know, so I mean, the more cowgirls in this world, the better, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it's hot. You know, yeah. oh. I, for the, I mean, for the for the gals. You know, yeah. have you so, seen? Man. Have you been seeing a lot of like Western cowboy cowgirl shit while you've been making the rounds? Lawrence dressed up in his in his uh, rancho's finest. Yeah, I was pandering today with my yeah, flares. I mean, my, that, my, I mean, that's, that's Cubans. No, that, that's, that's a rad fit. I mean, you heard it here first, baby. Co-signed where the, by where the pants what from? Where the shirt from? Like, <laughs> well, he can't say he can't say this on air. I mean, I'm sure he'll. <laughs> I can't get fit checked on Leon's yeah. episode, but uh, the pants are orally, and the shirt is a collaboration that we did with him. Yeah, we'll send and you the boots. Were our legacy Cuban heels? Another fucking please. Guys. What about okay? So like, what's interesting is that um, even in, like the Bodie era, the Bodie <clears throat> suit era in 2019, like you were doing a lot more like boots, <clears throat> cowboy hats, ten gallon. Yeah, like true more like classic western shit texas mm-hmm. shit mm-hmm. and now you are like in your like soul kind of like low-key pimp era mm. but low-key my question for you what's a personal style phase you went through that now looking back makes you cringe <laughs> real bad and we're gonna find the photos yeah dude. <laughs> we're gonna do the research after the fact we're gonna go to del frisco's employee of the month archive <laughs> yeah dude so when i first started making music i went under the moniker of lost child and um, that at that time I was I was wearing like skinny jeans. Um, can we find it, pics of that era on Google? <laughs> um, I, I I can I can I, I mean I thought you'd be famous enough to get it wiped, bro. Nah, I, I, I I I got I got some in my library. I, I, I <laughs> is this Wait. like your is this like your swag era? Like your your you know like when everyone's just wearing fucking dope on their hats? And like <laughs> snaps. No, nah, it, it's uh kind of the. The tall white tee. Okay. Oh, damn tall white tee. Like, damn. Wait, what I'm year were you going by Lost Child? Like, what year are we talking right now? Like, that was like, I mean, 2012. Oh, okay. Maybe. I mean, come on, bro. No one's going to hold you. But you're in tall white tee and skinny <laughs> jeans. You must look like a, like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's in were his like, jammies. Were you like Bapes does and like, or like Yums from Soldier Boy at that point? Did you ever Man, have a, have no, I, 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 I never kind of been on this, on, on the sneaker thing. Um, what was I wearing around that time? Well, Damn skinny jeans and boots, no way. Can't even get them I, I, I was just, I was just like, I was just thrift shopping. Like. Oh yeah, how much money? How much of your own money were you spending on clothes back then? Like, was it? You're like, damn, bro, I got fucking twenty five bucks. Let me hit Goodwill. I mean, I, I mean, I, I was, I was broke as shit like <laughs> right at time. So, what so that the, would explain the the tall tees yeah. and the skinny jeans. Maybe. <laughs> what was the brokest you've ever been? Man, I mean, was there a moment? Yeah, I, I, I guess, I guess before I transitioned in, in, into like you know the music thing, I, I mean, it was bleak. <laughs> Like ice, ice soup, that type of shit. Bread sandwiches. Man, I mean, not 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 that broke, you know. Right. Well, I, was mean, I was I was like working yeah. two jobs. I mean, right. Um, I was at I was at Del Frisco's and like this this little Tex Mex spot called Rose's Cafe. Mm. And, and who and had Fort better Ward. tips? What customers uh, <laughs> made it worth your while? <laughs> Man, so I, I was in, I was in a dish pit at Del Frisco's oh, and I was busting tables at at Rose's Cafe, damn. and um, it was kind of one of those things like. As soon as I got my check, it was just like, here you go, mom. <laughs> yeah, right, right. All right. You're doing the yeah. responsible thing, giving it mm-hmm. to moms. That's, yeah. that's, that's fucking all good with it. Paint it back. Yeah, paint that's wonderful back. of you, bro. Um, <clears throat> appreciate that. Well, you've now obviously made your mark on the music industry. Grammy award winning. Mm. Multiple Grammy nominations. Uh, obviously made your mark on the fashion industry. All these collabs. Definitely one of the best dressed celebs out there. Facts. Crazy. What's filled with more snakes, rats, and goofies? The music industry or the fashion industry? Because they're <laughs> they're both chock full of them. <laughs> He's like, damn, what do I want to get canceled first? <laughs> Man, I I think they kind of exist in both. You know, yeah. you just gotta. I think for me, which has been awesome, is just like having my own tribe. You know, mm-hmm. and um and 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 the fact that like I've kind of established like my 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 thing. Like I, I um you got your people. I, I just I, I just kind of skip all that. You know, so I, you're like protected by like your team. 
I mean, I mean, I got a great team, and then you know, I always roll with my homeboy Zeus, you know, and uh, damn, he's like my right hand man, the dude. God you know, like, Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, this, you know, he just makes make sure, um, you, you know, I just get to, get get through this thing, you know, smooth. With he can it, keep you know. the goofies and haters as uh, and uh, snakes as keep, keep at, him at bay, at, you know? at bay, dude. Sure. Fuck the rats, the dude. Length. Yeah, smart. As a Texan, though, what's a bigger honor? And let's be honest here: winning a Grammy you know, the best award a musical artist could ever hope for, or again, as in Texan collaborating with Wrangler. Yeah. The, the, the Grammy moment was amazing. Um, but the <laughs> doing the Wrangler collab was, was pretty surreal. Yeah, um, was that when the hometown homies were like, yo, my guys made it, <laughs> man. So, uh, there was a bar I used to frequent in Fort Worth. Yeah. I met this cat named Austin Jenkins and we kind of bonded over our love for Wrangler denim. Mm. And so, um, super full circle moment, you know, to be able to collab with Wrangler. And, you know, I wanted to kind of bring that like seventies mm. kind of silhouette back, you know, with it. And, um, dude, it resonated because it was like, yeah. again, a slightly early, but for the heads where it was yeah. like the big boot cut jeans in a way that didn't scream like celebrity collaboration, right? but was still fucking gas where if you were on your cowboy shit, you could wear it. Or if you're on your fashion boy shit, you could wear it. So it's again one of those like sneaky moments where it's maybe like was just too good for like the masses. I don't know if that I don't know if that's insulting. Yeah. Um, but it's like, yeah. He right. ain't wrong. He's just early, as yeah. we say. <laughs> but so okay, so would you take Wrangler collaboration <laughs> over Grammy win? Yeah. If you had to pick one. Which one's at your mom's house? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take the Wrangler collab. I feel like that was Shit. like way My more. Way Academy. more. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sh shout out to the Grammys and there's going to be know, more Grammys. You never know if there's going to be. I feel like that was like kind of way more impactful. You know? yeah. yeah. I mean, that's got to be like the little kid and he's got to be jumping for joy at the Wrangler collab over a fucking. They're handing out Grammys like fucking. <laughs> Drake pissed on his or is that Kanye? That was Kanye. Oh, yeah. Drake took a shot out of his. That yeah. was respectful. That was yeah. hope. That was hope. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to diminish anything about the Grammy, you know, the Grammy no, shit. No, of course but... not. We want a couple more time, yeah, the, the, though. Come on. I mean, a, Wrangler, that was that was a moment. And what a beautiful so. story just being at like your hometown bar and another fucking John's enthusiast is like, yo, nice fucking jeans, bro. And then boom. Yeah. You got a coll <laughs> Wrangler collab, dude. That's and incredible. I mean, and, and that's kind of what sparked, you know, like my first album. Um, was the jeans or link, linking with Austin? Yeah, linking with Austin Jenkins. Austin Jenkins. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I mean, he, he's 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 like a fucking ra like the the Wrangler man. Like it, that was his thing. Like that's all he wears is Wrangler. The Wrangler Raja. Yeah. <laughs> How much? Do you, are you a big vintage Wrangler guy? When you're not rocking Lou Dan's and you know, like no, for sure, for sure. I, I, I mean, uh, I mean that night I was wearing like some like fifties like Wrangler. Damn. Oh shit, shit. Jeans older yeah. than you with bro. a fucking white white t shirt. <laughs> Classic. You know. What's the most you've ever spent on a pair of vintage denim? If you may be so gauche as to answer my very gauche question. More than a six pack of Lone Star, I'm assuming. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> like in the thousands? No, I, I, I haven't gone that crazy. Because it can get up there. Oh, yeah. People treat vintage jeans like fucking like precious gems, yeah. bro. It's like the stock market. Yeah, I, yeah. I've, I've never dropped that, you know. That much money on you on, on denim, but but if you were to give an answer, like your mom would make you feel ashamed of <laughs> yourself or something like. Yeah, I, I just I just can't justify like spending it. You know. Yeah, when you have a collab, you should be getting them for free. By the way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the modus operandi has changed over time, but yeah. Uh, Leon, do you listen to your own music when you fuck? <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Because it is you. You are a fan in '90s R&B, right? You said in an interview that you want to make baby making music. Um, and you are the thriving crooner. <laughs> <laughs> Has it ever actually come on? You yeah. know, when you're no, on no, shuffle? I don't, I don't, but like, you know, I'm, I'm still a virgin, you know, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> clip yeah. it. A, big, a bigger lie has never been told on this podcast. Wow, dude. The ultimate cap. Right. That's a 10 gallon like, cap big, right there. Big cap. You know? yeah. <laughs> Wait, have any of your homies ever been like, yo, bro, like. I'm getting yeah. fucking busy with a fucking Zeus. chick. I, I'm beating cheeks, and then you fucking come on and ruin the whole nah, fucking. I, I've had a few homies, that, you know, and and these people tell me that like they've used my music, you know, <laughs> to get the laid. soundtrack of you know, a, a, you a know, baby making, you know, to smack it up. You know? <laughs> is that the is that the greatest compliment <laughs> yeah. that could ever be paid to? Yeah. I mean, I, 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 that's that's pretty rad. That's well, you know, rad. you know, when you're making music, you know. and you you got to give it the whip test, right? You play it in the whip. 
got to give it the fucking stroke test. The stroke test, bro. The cheek test. <laughs> and we ain't talking the strokes, dude. Yeah. This is one point four million dollar dick. Yeah, but maybe you let your homies give <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm a virgin, but I've never smashed to my music. Um, you one know, day. but like I've I've been with chicks, you know, where where they're like, "Yo, can you put on uh, the collab I did with Corumbin?" You know, yeah, mm-hmm. Texas Sun, like, Texas Moon. Yeah, yeah. and you're just yeah. like, "Fuck no, that's no, nah, it's too weird. Yeah. Too weird. Maybe like the instrumentals or something." <laughs> I, but I, I go with uh, I normally rock the what's the Corumbin album? Holmes. It's all good, dude. Oh, like their own their own yeah, shit yeah. themselves. Yeah, you're yeah. like that's how I collaborate. My, my, with my you. love making my love making thing. I gotta I gotta I gotta. You don't throw on some nineties. You don't throw you don't throw on some nineties R and B when it's time to. No, nah, it's, it's kind of too. It's, it's kind of too on the nose. Oh, uh, with the, with it's too it. expected. Smart man, dude. Yeah. yeah, I only make love to my wife to the Leon Bridges Miranda Lambert collab, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, but if you smashing in that, like that's crazy. Well, I am married, so <laughs> <laughs> she's mine. Do you have a '90s R&B jam that's your go-to karaoke song? Man, I, I went to um, I went to uh, uh, Russia for the first time. Oh, shit! Like in 2018, and we went to some like random bar. And I performed the thong song. Oh, <laughs> in Russia, were you locked up as a fucking war criminal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, I, I, nah, I mean, I mean, like it's it's kind of square business over there, you yeah. know. But yeah. um, wait, how'd it go? What was the reaction? The crowd was going crazy. I, I mean, they, they didn't give a shit. Like, <laughs> there was like a there was like a weapons arms dealer oligarch just like jamming out with you. Off, like, yeah, that feels like their whole shit. Don't now, like a truck. Now my my homeboy uh, Brandon Marcel, he he. Uh, he, he got up there with me. Yeah, shout oh, out man. to Brandon. Look, duet. Yeah. <laughs> Support the homies, even in Russia at the o- Oligarch Karaoke Bar. Yeah. Um, well, it sounds like your whole career kind of had a, a great jumping off origin story with the denim in a, in like, a, was it like a dive bar that you were at with Austin? Yeah, it's, 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 it's divey. It's uh, a spot called Boiled Out. Okay. Oh, and we're yeah. sipping on some tequila, you know, at the end of a long week. You've been out and about yourself, just hitting every fucking spot, every party. Who are your favorite musical artists to party with? Because there's some motherfuckers that like, I would, you know, nightmare blunt rotation. Right. I mean, uh, Chubbs, uh, he he, oh, yeah. he always throws some cool ass parties. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Chubbs as in Drake's his body Yeah, that, Yeah, that's his right hand man. Woo. You know. What's the mark Chubby of a good, Chubb. What's the mark of a good Chubbs soiree? Man, so uh, I, I recently went to like one of his events at the Peppermint Club and um Virginia Black was flowing. Yeah, <laughs> whatever the drink. Man, Virginia is. Black. Uh, Virginia Black. I mean, the like the packaging's cool. It's cool. <laughs> is like, the, the bottle looks like, a, like, a, like yeah. a perfume. Right. Like for the ladies. <laughs> for the, <laughs> let me, the ladies. Yo, let me get a little <laughs> spritz of Virginia <laughs> yeah. Black, dude, on the rocks. Wait, so it's got to be just what fucking dimes, as far as the eyes can see. Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, they they got all the baddies at, at, at the at their shit, you know. Canadian, American, all mm. North American. They'll get you over the border Man, to the Peppermint the Club. Plethora, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> From customs to the Peppermint Club, expeditiously. Are you and are you normally like a are you like a club and bottle service guy? Or are you more like a shots and beers at the dive bar type of type of fella? Well, it's just, it's kind of kind of one of those things like um, if I'm going to an event, it might not be a good look to just like be on the floor, you know. <laughs> right. You mean like right. shit faced? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm normally cool with it. It's, it's it's like like a thing where just for optics, like it's it's, it's cool oh, to like be in a section by. Oh, you know? I see oh. what you're saying. A little little right. roped off. You it's, shouldn't see. You shouldn't be trying to flag the bartender down. Right. 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 You know, perception is reality. It, it, if yeah, I'm not yeah, if, if, if I'm not doing that, then um, you know, the dive bar, you yeah. know, it's cool. Like I can be a little bit. Is that ducked off low key? Do you like being in Fort Worth because you're kind of out of the spotlight of like LA and New York and you kind of you can like be yourself and be around the people that know you? Is that why you like stay there? Man, like it's it's kind of nice to, you know, kind of disconnect from the industry. You sure. Know? Yeah. And and Fort Worth is home. You know, my family lives there. I mean, I mean sure the dollar, all goes, that's a little, like the dollar goes a little longer in Fort Worth than yeah. it does in LA too. Cost sure. of living is good. <laughs> <you know? laughs> I also know the uh the income tax situation in Texas is preferred. I was <laughs> I mean shout out the accountants. Shout out the accountants. I'm sure also <laughs> yeah, know, yeah if the IRS is listening, no federal <laughs> income tax. I'm sure also you can roll into uh Rosa's what was it? Rosa's Cafe. Yeah, Rosa's Rosa's Cafe. Rosa's and get Cafe. a fucking free meal any day of the week, I'm sure. I'm Man, sure it's it's it wild. Like I, I like to pop back in there every now and then and and like I'm still seeing like my coworkers that that's been there since. Damn. I mean, I mean, 2007, 2008. Like, Are they, do they look at you and like one day I could make it? Yeah. Or you're like, bro, you're 56 and a meth addict. Like, <laughs> relax. <laughs> your your lot in life has been cast. 
Man, you, you just got to figure your shit out. Like as long as, long as you're happy, you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Good, you know, if you're a 56 year old meth addict at Roses and you love washing <laughs> dishes, don't ever change. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> dude. get after it. What's your favorite city to party in besides Fort Worth? Let's say because obviously that's home. But like, man, Toronto's the vibe. Really? Because they got the Caribbean Damn. things. Well, I, um, it's funny because uh, I was on tour last year and I did a I, I did a private for Delilah. Mm. And it was kind of a moment where we we had like some some like a PJ and I, I don't normally do PJs. I'm, mm. I'm a broke musician a little bit, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We and um, we went from Vegas to Toronto, and I didn't even know I was playing a oh really a, a arena um, <laughs> Shit, in man. Toronto, which is kind of cool. But um, man, I mean Toronto some some it. of the most beautiful women that the six live in Toronto. Is that because you have the OVO plug via Chubs? Nah, I, I, um, some good friends with um. Hwood group out okay. of, out of mm. uh, Los Angeles, mm. and um, they was they were telling me about uh this Tay James party. He's like Bieber's oh, DJ, and he was like doing something out there. Just came out there to support. Hell yeah, dude! Shout what out to Hwood group. When you're like, uh, I mean, you've traveled internationally too. What about non Canada America? Because you, you North America, you mentioned doing Cisco thong song at some in fucking St. Petersburg. Or something. What like, <laughs> have you gone to like at the damn Kremlin? Have you been to like Tokyo and like what's your favorite international city to to get after it in? Man, 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 Tokyo's a vibe. Um, they must love you there, bro. You must have star power there, man. I, I think I, you're a ball player, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> cool, tall black guy. Yeah, yeah. right. Just uh, you could dap up the emperor. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. To- Tokyo's rad. Um, did you, Tokyo. do any, did you do any shopping in Tokyo, man? Yeah, so I normally go to uh, Capital out there. Well, sure, all three. I yeah. love, um, oh my god, what. Well, uh, w- w- Waco Maria. Oh yeah, oh, dude, yeah. with the shirts. Yeah, and and what's Spicy. what's like what's the mall out there? That's like it's like six floors. I mean, every United Arrows, Beams. Is it? It's Beams, right? Oh, oh. Isetan. Yeah, Isetan. Yeah, okay. I mean that's like a that's like a high end clothing department store. So there's right. a bunch of them, but yeah, like they're they're it's fucking good. Nobody does it like the Japanese when it comes to gear, dude. Speaking of like no one doing it like a certain fucking very special person. I have a question for you. When you <laughs> lost the Grammy for best R&B album to D'Angelo in 2016, were you like, all right, this D'Angelo, I get it. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it was, it was, it was, it was one of those things. Like, I mean, D'Angelo is a legend, sure. you know, and, um, you know that was his like comeback moment. Yeah, you know? yeah. and so uh, you were the martyr. You're I mean, like, I I I, 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 w- I wasn't butt hurt over that. You no. know, you have I, better I just, apps than him now, anyway. So fuck right. it. Uh, n- nah, not, <laughs> not at all. No, I mean current D'Angelo. Not- <laughs> <laughs> that must have been just the cat. No, I, I I don't work out, which is like pretty pretty shit. You're I, just I, blessed. I start. You're blessed with uh, good jeans and and flared jeans. <laughs> I, I think I think I think so. <laughs> that must have been the academy. <laughs> Playing politics, I'm sure. Just yeah, like, yeah. D'Angelo, like, you know, welcome back. Here, here's a statue. Yeah, is was, there someone that you want to make music with that you haven't had the chance to connect with just yet? Maybe we can manifest it. Right, you right told now, us right off here. mic about your favorite rapper. Man, I want to. I want to do a song with Gunna. Yeah, Gunna wanna. Yeah, uh, that, wanna. <laughs> um, that'd be. Sick, we'd love to bro. do something with Brent Fires. Ooh, mm. are you uh, a big hip hop guy? Man, I'm R. I'm an R and B head. Mm. Right. Um. If it's not Drake, Gunna, Thug, J. Cole, Kendrick. Right. It's a lot of heavy hitters. It, yeah. it just that doesn't really resonate. And a lot of those guys are like melodic in that they kind of like can interpolate the R&B and bring it to fuck. I mean, that's what hip hop is, right? But like, oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's running. running run, yeah. The R&B running through it. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Do you have music that you could like already in the pocket that you could see like one jumping on or like <laughs> Drizzy? God bless. Yeah, that, that the the Drake thing might be a little far fetched, but <laughs> oh, yeah. hit Chubs. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, my my whole thing is like, I if I in, like encounter like some of these artists, like I never want to like like be like, ask, be like, ask, like it's all about. I just want to like play it cool and like, not, like, like let's let's work on some music, right, like right. because like I I, th- I think um, if it's meant to be, you know, it'll happen. Is that how it works though? Like you run into them, and you're like, Yo, Gunna, like great show at Barclays, but maybe or do you like is it in the DMs? Man, I, mean, I, I, just keep, I, just, I just keep a play on some cool shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, love your work. And like, yeah, great show or, you know, and uh, keep it moving. Type yeah. shit. No, I, re- I respect that. Is there someone that you've met, whether it was like at the Grammys or at the Met Gala or your global travels, like a, a musician who was like, yo, I'm a big fan of you that you were like, oh, damn, that's surprising. Like a co-sign that was like, oh, fuck, dude, that means a lot. I mean, I mean, shout out to ASAP Rocky. Um, 
it was so like when I when we filmed uh, the Ocean's the Eight, Ocean's Eight, the Ocean's yeah. Eight, Ocean's yeah. Eight joint. And John Batiste hits me up and he's like, we finna go to Flacco shit. I'm like, I was like, I was like, who's Flacco? <laughs> Lord Jody. <laughs> I just love John Batiste be like, yo, we go to Flacco I'm like, shit. He connect. I'm like, he connected. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's sick. So you, met, so you go to Flacco shit, you meet Rocky. Once you figure out who yeah. Flacco was. Yeah. And, uh, he, he, and, uh, oh, Flacco with a V. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Lord pretty Flacco Jody. Yeah. Second. Understood. <laughs> and uh, so, so we, we pull up to like, like his, like his spot and like I mean Ferg is there and and they're just like turning up but I think they were like playing some like new Ferg music Sick. at the time and I was in there like just like jigging and shit <laughs> and like Ferg pulls out the phone I think Casanova was there damn and uh, they royalty. put me they put me on live and like uh, <laughs> <laughs> so <it was> <laughs> you just gro- you just grooving in the fucking party dude I love yeah, that vibing. ASAP Bridges. Damn, dude. Ferg. Wait, so did you connect with Rocky that night at all? Like, how'd that go? Man, it was just, it was just on some cool shit. We we went to the studio like oh. the next day, and uh, Amine was there. Fucking oh, three stacks. Oh, shout out to guy, bro. I mean, Amine, that's my bro. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. Well, see you tomorrow, Amine. Yeah, see you tomorrow, brother. <laughs> oh wait, wait uh, Amine's pulling up. He's a show, show. show tomorrow. Yeah. Oh fuck, I got to pull up. Yeah, yeah, dude. We'll I, see. We'll see you there, bro. Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn, fuck, Brooklyn, bro. Oh, you're out of town. Oh, you got. I think we got the Chanel dinner. Right. Well, this yeah, is, you're chasing this is a late. bag, bro. This is late. This is, <laughs> like, this is like a midnight show. This is, okay, this is yeah, 11 45. We'll, we'll see. We'll see you at Kate Tremine, brother. Yeah, that'll be a good time. Oh, yeah. dude. I'm going to be on live with fucking yeah. with my man over here. Me and Leon are going to be just jigging. Jigging, jigging to the fucking right. Kate Tremine show in <laughs> VIP, bro. You know the fucking vibes. I'm the only <laughs> rapper who knows where the clit is. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Leon, when are we getting some new music, bro? It's yeah. been a minute, right? Uh, 2020 was the last album. And I know you've like had some some uh, some shit here and there, but like, yeah. why don't we get in some Leon Bridges? Man. Something meaty, something robust. Bridges, bridges. Yeah, uh, hopefully next year. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, I think I think it's concrete. It, it, I'll, I'll probably be releasing it next year, like around April, maybe. Okay. Is so- this like, is you coming to Fashion Week? Because I'm so curious, just like, is you coming to Fashion Week like and really putting your face and your name back out there? Is this kind of like the start of how of like the rollout marketing machine? Is that how it works? Or are you just like, yo, I want to go to Fashion Week and like hang out? I'm just pulling up and hanging. Um, and uh, you know, I, I think I think it's a good look for the brand, you know. Yeah. And uh, you know, grateful to be in, you know, and be invited, you know, and um getting the sun. I, out there too. I think yeah. I think some good things are gonna transpire from you know, for me coming through this week absolutely you know? yeah we don't need new music for this man to just post up and keep yeah. playing dude. we're <laughs> yeah. just happy he's in the city bro yeah, but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm working on a new album I'm, I'm super stoked about it for sure is it gonna be similar to the stuff we've heard before or are you gonna like take a new direction is it like you know are you gonna go back to like what's what's proven already work so my, my most recent album um gold digger sound mm-hmm. i just had this thing where i, I felt like there was like a little bit disconnect as far as like my sound like with the black community mm. and and so I wanted to make like an R and B centric album, you know, and so that was that kind of right, vibe, right? You know, and so this mission like, accomplished. We 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 did it. I got to go to Speaking the Soul Train Awards. The, the black community. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, yeah, Lawrence. Yeah, the Soul Train community probably speaks louder than uh, a Jewish podcaster, but yeah, the shit <laughs> yeah. fucking bang, bro. No, it's, it's, it's no, it's, it's it's all love. I, I just wanted to like, you know, make something that was like a reflection of like you right. know, yeah, the R and B music that I did while doing my own thing. And um, this I don't know this next this next one is like it's on some like dreamy psychedelic like mm. folky R and B shit. Wow, like, dude! Hell but yeah. I mean Tyler Johnson, he's like the he's he's the right one to capture it. You know, right. fucking yeah. we we popping caps. What are we micro dosing, <laughs> macro dosing? What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> now we I, I, I was shrooming the hell out in uh in the, in L A for sure. <laughs> nice. And, this, and that's like what, and that's like the source or inspiration of like this album is just like. Tripping dick, Lucy, <laughs> Lu- Lucy Goosey, yeah, tripping balls. I, I mean, it's um, we need we need to give some credit to uh, the shrooms. Yeah, on the- <laughs> you can thank him in the liner <laughs> notes, bro. It's all Shout natural. out, Mother Gaia. Yeah, I got some chalk. I got some chalk. I, I saw my fridge earlier. It was a very embarrassing situation, but uh, one of the things that is plenty fully stocked in there is some mushroom chocolate. So maybe we can have some after this. But uh, yeah, I mean, if, if my mom hears this, she's probably gonna kill me. Oh no, but mushrooms! That, we're talking salad. We're no, talking. I think she'll salad. Pre- I think and- she'll appreciate you talking about beating cheeks earlier. Actually, <laughs> yeah. no, mm-hmm. I we're think talking. She'll be into it. 
We're talking to Shataki. She already know what's going on. <laughs> Yo, my mom knows what the fuck going on. Yeah, her dude. son's a rock star. Yeah, Come dude, on she now. raised Mama raised the rock star, dude. Not right, a sucker. <laughs> besides talking about uh, sex, drugs, and rock and roll in Ooh. a public forum where your mom can hear it, <laughs> what's the part about being a famous musician that you do kind of hate the most? Because obviously everything is fucking incredible. You're the best <laughs> job in the world. But like, there's got to be something where you're just like, damn, I wish I could. Right, right. Man, I, I think, um, I guess the fact that I can't be anonymous like in, in my hometown anymore right you know is, is, is a little tough like when i go to new york like or la i have a little, little bit more um well there's more like anonymity cool, more but, cool yeah. guys walking down the street yeah in fort you're worth, blending in a bit in fort worth there's one cool guy walking down the street <laughs> and you're right. looking at him people <laughs> yeah i mean yeah like in, in fort worth like or texas they don't really champion like you know kind of individualism you know mm. and so i mean it, it was like a moment where when i first started rocking the the high waisted mm. and you know people just you know heads just didn't get it They're like that's know? not a cowboy's yeah. jersey what the fuck are you doing bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but i mean it's it's so empowering like you, you know the, like the western vibe is not you know it's not unique to like you don't have to be like a cowboy to be wearing western shit like right everybody right. kind of has a little western texas in them Right, I mean, and and there's black cowboys too, yeah. you know, dude, the and, OG cowboys, you know, you know, what I'm saying, and and they square business, you know, like, and so like, um, yeah, I, I really try to incorporate like the Western vibe, and like, you know, there's like a big Mexican presence in in Fort Worth, and so Absolutely. like, all that shit plays into all the, the other, style, all the OG cowboys. Oh, yeah. But so is it is it kind of just not having anonymity <laughs> when you want it? That's like what you wish. Or the worst part about being famous, but it 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 does it doesn't it doesn't bum bum me out at all. I mean that's good prompt like, to have, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. Because you made right. it, <laughs> right? You know, I, I I know how to kind of move through it. Have you, know? you had a crazy fan interaction where they're like crossed a, the boundary? And I'm not talking stalkers or anything. I'm talking like some kid, like uh, somebody was like, "Yeah, this kid was seeking trying to get a selfie, and like got hit by a car. I forget who it was, and he was like still trying to get the selfie. And then Amine was like, "Yeah, I was a." Uh, I was I was tripping balls in Mexico and I got arrested That's and I'm crazy. sitting in the back of a pickup that. truck handcuffed and some fan comes up. He's like, yo, I mean, I know this is a bad time, but uh, yo, can I flick up real quick? Yeah. And he's like, he's like tripping so hard. He's like, yeah, we're just just fucking <laughs> flick up. Man, um, and I'm sure we love you. Love your fans. They're great people. They're right. Yeah, I mean, so often people fucking yeah, habitually on. line step. I'm, I'm trying to think. Of, I got to think of the moment. Uh, <laughs> There's too many to count. <laughs> But do they do people in Fort Worth feel do, like they come up to you and they're just like, what up, Leon? Like, do they are you like the hometown hero where they can just come up and like talk to you? I, I guess they kind of deem me as that, you know, um, you know, like I guess prior to me, like as far as like artists that made it out of Fort Worth, you know, it was Kirk Franklin. Mm. Um, Big shoes you know, it was Towns Van Zandt. It was Bob <sighs> Wheels. I mean, I mean, Damn, dude, but that's on some country shit, right, you know, right, so but you're on I mean, the Mount you Rushmore, the bro. That's fucking sick, dude. So, um, good company to keep. Well, look, obviously, Lawrence and I, we are kind of like ignoramuses when it comes to Fort Worth. So, let's say now that we're fucking besties, yeah. now that we're going to, with you to the Met Gala, now that we're <laughs> going to the Amine show together. Our homies. Like, um, gang. Gang. Let's say <laughs> gang pulls up on you bright and early on a gorgeous day in Fort Worth, Texas. What are we getting into? Yeah. What do you, what's the perfect day with Leon Bridges and the boys? Yeah. Man, I, I, I would take you to, Fairmount, like Mac, I mean the Magnolia Strip is like super significant. Um, it's kind of like where I cut my teeth. Like, mm. there's a spot called a Evo Avoca Coffee that where I um I used to like sit outside and I was like literally like writing um my first album uh coming home over there, you wow. know. But uh, Damn. the night the nightlife of Fort Worth is kind of non-existent. But what are we hit the honky tonk? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. we probably got to go to stockyards. You know, yeah. go to stockyards too. And then um, I'm but no no disrespect to Fort Worth, but you gotta go to gotta go to Dallas. Like, oh yeah, if if you want to turn up on some shit. What about like food wise? Are we? Is it like Tex Max? Is it barbecue? <laughs> I mean, the Tex the Tex Max is a thing. You okay. know, um, I I found better barbecue outside of Fort Worth. Woo! You heard it here first, people. But have, I mean, I mean, shout, 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 shout out, shout out to Heim. Um, there's some other spots I, I can't remember off the top of the head. All good. But um, but so we are going to Dallas. Turn up. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, no, we're gonna yeah, yeah, we can start in Fort Worth. Here's some, you know, nice hit, uh, fun day in Fort Worth. See the sure. see the local spots. And then man. the night vibes. You got to go to Dallas. Okay. Sure. Is the Dallas club scene create? What's the shit in Houston now where they're like they're having bottle wars? 
<laughs> oh yeah, so, just a bunch of like gangsters in the club, like seeing who could pour out the who can the pour most out the most cost amigos. Yeah. <laughs> now shout out shout out to um my homie Reham. Um, he's my Dallas plug, and he's got some really cool venues that I, I like to frequent out there. Oh yeah. So we'll just take the Uber from Fort Worth to, to Dallas. Oh, he, and, uh, I mean, I got a I got a Bronco, so we're having a Bronco. Vinny Bronski. But, but we want to make sure that you can have a couple Lone Stars too, and we don't condone drunk <laughs> drunk driving on the show. It is Texas, unless <laughs> unless you're a civilian. No, I'm I'm super stoked to get back home because um, Drake is playing at American Airlines on the 15th, Ooh. and so uh, we're gonna go to the show. Chubbs doing an after party. <laughs> Turn up. And, all right, I'll mark my calendar. I'm coming yes. through, bro. Hey, what do you through, man. We get a bunch of baddies to pull up. <laughs> what do you miss the most about home, about Texas when you're on the road? Is it like just the com- besides just the comforts of being home and like being able to shit on your own toilet? Is it the food? Man, is it the I, weather? I mean, family is the best gift in life, yes. you know. And um, and, and, and so I, I mean, I, I get I get homesick. Oh, you know, right? You know, I, I've been able to bring my family on the road, which has been been awesome. Like, you know, I got my sister doing my hair. Ooh, and um. I got my best friend. She did Zeus. a great job, by the way. I mean, uh, oh, and, and but uh, this, well, I got I got different hair. She didn't do this one, okay. But she, I mean, she knows how to do it. <laughs> and uh, the sis. I got my my best friend like Zeus with me right. and Brandon Marcel singing background vocals, mm. and, you know. And so, um, like we said, you keep good people around you. That's like you need to be, and it's not even about being like insulated from what's going on out there. But it's like you know, this is just gonna make me feel better, dude. And it's yeah. about you. Mm-hmm. It's about me. Baby. I'm sure one of the things mm-hmm. you miss about uh about home though is also the the cowgirls, which is a perfect segue into the next segment of this podcast, which oh, is yeah. called <gasps> Dad. Sucking and fucking meats and cheeks, sex and dating. Uh, Baddies. Leon, what's the way to Leon Bridges, heart? I, I, I feel like I, I attract a lot of like wholesome, like low down, low freaks. Mm, <laughs> I love all the best, down low, best kind. <laughs> a lady in the streets, but a freak in the sheets, as somebody <laughs> might say, understood. And the vibe, I mean, the vibe is, um, I don't know, with, with, with women these days, like, I'm all about just, like, building rapport. Mm. And then, you know, See we're being uh, kind of, you know, being optimistic about, like, you know, a, a thing happening. You know, mm, yeah. I'm still a virgin. You know? Right, right, right. And a gentleman yeah. at that. The, yeah. A gentleman virgin, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, we, I got to know this because you talked about uh, strumming the guitar practicing in the hotel lobby, the Barry Hotel. But just generally speaking, for the young, impressionable men at home. Does crooning on an acoustic guitar in the corner at a party, does that get you laid or is that some corny shit? We need the actual Leon Bridges stamp right. of approval or absolute rejection of that move. Yeah. Um, man, I mean, it's I, not you. It's just it's a regular. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah. It's you. Right. Right. Yeah. It's an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's your foot in the door. You know, oh, for sure. yeah. For Damn. sure. Like, so we doing it like putting that shit on. Like what's the Leon Bridges song? They should be crooning and strumming. Yeah. River, coming home, one of the classics. I mean, um, somebody, somebody strums some Mariella. That's, that's mm. one. That's one of my favorite mm. tunes I've ever. Okay, run. that might right. get your Fellas. dick sucked. <laughs> Fellas, go to genius dot com slash Mariella real quick. <laughs> Start practicing. Yeah, that, that's that's the one. You yeah, know and you don't need to go to Russia to practice that one. Yeah. You can do it from the comfort of your local house party. Yeah, or the <laughs> lobby, the Bowery. Yeah. Um, could you ever like we mentioned? Uh, you mentioned the wholesome DL freaks, but like. <laughs> Could you ever date a city girl or the country girls you die? Or do you not have a preference? Man, the city, I don't, I don't think the city girls rock with me. I mean, at least it, it, it takes a little bit more work <laughs> to try to get the city girls. Okay. You know, um, country girls that are just like a, a immediate connection with like the Texas boy. Yeah. I mean, like that, that's like a little bit more seamless. Right? Yeah. You know, natural. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Less, yeah. organic, less work yeah. for a very busy man. Yeah. It's <laughs> true. Again, and, a and, gentleman and, virgin who's just and, building rapport and seeing where it goes. And, I mean, and, and these days, like, you know, if, if, if it isn't like an immediate connection, then I'm, I'm just like chilling on, on my own next. shit. Right. Like, onto the next. Yeah. And, but I got to stay, I got a stable, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> moms, moms, skip, skip ahead. All right. I got the ones. Let's, let's get back. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> he, th- th- that's why he's a wrangler. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez! Is there a fit, like a go-to fit that you throw on, or maybe even like a lucky, a lucky pair of flared jeans or something that you throw on, like for a third date when you're hoping to maybe take it to the next level, seal the deal, if you will? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a monochrome mm. freak. Like, <laughs> if, if it if it ain't all like one color, then it's it's just not. 
but different yeah, sh- saying, like different but shades of blue, like what you're doing today, or is it like Hugh Hefner? I mean, what's nice. the I mean, what's the what's the date vibes? What's the date vibes? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, are, you do, are you doing denim? Yeah, denim on denim. I I, sw- I switch it up. Like I mean, sometimes I do denim. Sometimes I do like um. I, I, I put on like the flashy shit whenever I go to like crazy events. Mm-hmm. Right. Like when, when Chubbs is hitting. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. I mean, that, that's the moment, you know. When John Baptiste <laughs> hits you about a fucking party, that's when the flashy shit comes out. <laughs> but a date, a date is more like monochrome. Yeah, that's it. Like you said. Yeah. Yeah. When I, when I, when I do date vibes, like I, I kind of lean in more into kind of like the Western thing. You know, mm. just like. Do you wear like, your own Mostly. Clothes? I mean, my, that's my thing. Like yeah. denim. Like, it's, it's crazy. I'll, do you, I'll do wear, wear Do you wear <laughs> Leon Bridges X Wrangler denim to a date? Oh damn! I, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta start rocking. Uh, yeah, um, yo, Shorty, peep the ass. That's me. I did that. <laughs> Just Leon on the ass, like juicy. <laughs> and uh, I, I need to start rocking like my my Wrangler collab a little bit, a little bit more. Okay. Like, what about the Veda? You gotta rock the Vedas on the. I mean, I mean, this, I mean, these are like these are the ones. It's crazy because um, I, I haven't, I haven't even like seen these until like You'll Fashion agree. Week. Oh okay. damn. <laughs> But you look great. Yeah. You they hit great. just in time, dude. Yeah. Um, Leon, how much money do you make? <laughs> you said you were broke earlier, and I felt that was yeah. a 10-gallon cap. <laughs> Man. Uh... <laughs> Not enough? Enough? Too much? Yeah. How, are we, make, I, I, want, I, want, I want more money. Oh, hell know? yeah. Like, I want more money. I mean, because my whole thing is just like, I just want to take care of my family. You right. know what I'm saying? And uh have you know, and uh, and, and and get fly. That's yeah. it. And, uh, <laughs> and literally, get fly ain't cheap. Literally in PJs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, what do you rap. besides clothes, and besides guitars and your own career? What do you like to spend your hard earned money on? You mentioned the Bronco. Are you, are you like a vintage car guy? So I I recently got like a 1979 Bronco and um Vinti Bronski, Vinti Bronski, 69 um, nice, Pontiac nice. GTO. Man. Woo. Guys, that's you're building a fleet. Yeah, dude. Man, trying to accumulate all the this all the vintage cars. Air give me, uh, hanger, give any cars with Bluetooth or <laughs> just like nah, I, I mean the the Bronco does. Okay, oh, all right. You retro. Thank God. <laughs> any cars with airbags? Like, yeah. nah. I mean, if I get into <laughs> an accident, it's a wrap. <laughs> yeah. Like, all right. Well, it's a wrap. Dri- drive it like it's stolen, dude. Yeah. <laughs> is there a large purchase? I'm not, I'm not. I'm not seeing the cars because the cars are fire. But like, is there something you've splashed out on recently where you kind of regretted making that? Bye. Yeah, so yeah, so I just recently copped some pieces from Coup de la Liberté. Yeah, yeah. Coup de la Liberté. Oh, the true religion, homie. Yeah, the- <laughs> dude, that shit is fire. It's cool, expensive. Is it? Were you just like you like woke up the next day and you looked at your bank statement and you're like, oh damn, dude, that's a ten rack jacket. <laughs> Man, it's, it, you know, I, th- I think it's a, a good good investment. You know? Okay, and, and um. Okay, so not a regrettable purchase. We're not, not, with at this. Okay, not at all. Okay, I like this. I, 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 <laughs> no regrets, baby. Yeah, yeah I, I was. Oh my god, I'm have you stutter. have you worn have you worn these jackets? Like, because it is some like Migos rock star level. Like, it's non monochromatic. I'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I I rocked one uh, recently at my birthday. It's like okay. it's like it's a birthday fit. It's yeah. a birthday dawn. Birthday. Yeah, so I was kind of able yeah. to justify, you know, like yeah. you know, but it's like all brown. It's kind of uh, crazy, like intricacy. Yeah. Yeah. That's some next level shit. Big brain for sure. Is that the most expensive piece of clothing you've ever bought? Do you think? I think so. It's got to be. Yeah. It's got to be. (laughs) There's not much more expensive out there. I mean, my business, my business manager, Patrick's probably going to like, (laughs) what the fuck (laughs) yell at me at some point. He's turning (laughs) off your credit card. (laughs) (laughs) Well, look, from turning off your credit card, I mean, I wouldn't advise that, but maybe that's just, you know, some constructive criticism that you're, business manager wants to give you and we we leon would love to offer you some some constructive criticism yeah if we may before we get you out of here let's go before we meet you down before we meet link up at the amine show tomorrow and and the drake show in fort worth Uh dallas uh next week or whatever (laughs) Um, gang shit (laughs) gang gang we want to see you you're doing incredible right new music on the way you've been killing it all week we want to see you do even better so allow us to offer some constructive criticism take it or leave it how should you take it um i'll go first so I've kind of been kind of mentioned this a few times, but, uh, you know, can we let us join your entourage as like affirmative action whites? <laughs> I don't know. What Are you doing. hiring? Yeah. I don't know what we could offer necessarily, but like it looked yeah. good on paper. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Drake, I mean, Drake always, I mean, what do you say? Like no new friends type, yeah. type thing. No friends in the industry. <laughs> and no new friends. A lot of shit about not having friends. He's Drake. like, there's a lot of y'all around here that I didn't recognize last year. Who the fuck yeah. are y'all? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah man. Uh, I, I Do you just have that I, problem. I, who the fuck? The who the fucker y'all ism? Yeah, I just think it's like smooth. Like, 
whenever I'm rolling out and it's just like me, my security, like Zeus. Yeah. And some gals. Yeah, you know? that's a good look for you. Keep it Versus uh, rolling, adding two podcasts. As far as, it, mix. nah, nah, but uh, <laughs> I mean, shit, I, we homies. Like, yeah. So, we, you know, All right. we rocking. We'll oh, take yeah. care of whatever gals you don't want necessarily yeah. going. Oh, we, oh, yeah, we can put some in a mix. So. Okay. Yeah. 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 I like that. All right. All right. <laughs> um, please keep in mind uh, that, again, we are homies when I give you this next piece of constructive criticism. Um, <laughs> listen, Leon, you are a Grammy winner a living legend and we got new music coming soon and god willing inshallah we're gonna have a number one album on deck your first number one but have you thought about following the morgan wallen playbook and just saying the n-word because apparently that's just how you get a number one record these days <laughs> man, man that, that that was a, that was a little disheartening yeah when i, when you I don't saw say. that you know, uh, but I still, I, still, I, still love, I still love Morgan's music. I ain't gonna lie right. about that. Uh, well, you and a lot of people. Yeah, you know <laughs> so he sucks. makes good music. He does. Know, right? yeah. um, but <laughs> I separate the art from the art. I, 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 I think I actually wrote like there was one song I was messing with. I, I was like, uh, sometimes a nigga gets long. Facts. You know, I'm it by. Like, but that's probably like the yeah that would be did the, that, the that only did, that didn't make it in. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn. We just got some Leon Bridges uh, Yo. crooning on the mic, interrupted by, interrupted by Lawrence's uh, cackle. <laughs> on the mic. <laughs> I couldn't help it, dude. I wasn't yeah, expecting it I to know. just hit so hard, bro. That was fire. I love um, it. Leon, thank you for coming on to the only podcast that matters. You're a fucking delight. You're the man. Uh, where can the kids follow you? What do you want to plug? The mic is yours. The floor is yours. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> man, uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm on Instagram. Uh, Leon Bridges is official. Um, I'm on Raya, too. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Who's the most famous... I saw Emrod on Raya. Who's the most famous person you've seen on Raya? Uh, who, who's who's uh, Car- I Carly chick? Who's that? The I Carly chick. What's her name? Is that fucking Hannah Montana? You saw I Carly I on Raya? Is what you're saying? I mean, I'm putting I'm putting his business out there. I mean, I don't <laughs> even know. <laughs> well, good for her. I mean, yeah, you got to put yourself. Out that there. is Miranda Cosgrove. Yeah, yeah Miranda <laughs> Cosgrove. Yeah. yeah, dude. From th- this, remember that when she's behind yeah, the tree, yeah. she's doing that. At me. Yeah. I mean, I mean, wait, did you swipe right? Or I don't know how Raya works. I'm married. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. She. I think she was fucking with me, but I, I mean, Carly she, D's nuts. Yeah. yeah she was. Nothing she, transpired. She, she just went. She had a uh, viral TikTok sound where they were like. What's your favorite curse word? She goes, I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. You guys um, will make a great pair, yeah. dude. That's just my opinion. Beautiful That's babies, all me. You know? <laughs> Leon, thank you. You're the man. Thank you so much, bro. Only podcast matters. Chef, take us out. Yeah.